welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a get ready with me for London because if you guys don't know, I am currently in London and I've been here for about a week now. Today's actually my last day, which I'm really sad about, but I wanted to do a little video showing you guys and me getting ready in my Airbnb. Here she is. By the way, there's construction going on at the apartment directly next door. I was not aware of this when I purchased the Airbnb. So if you hear any drilling, that's why. So in today's Get Ready With Me video, I'm going to be featuring the products from Ipsy's July Glam Bag. I'm not only going to be using the products from this, but I am going to be using all of them in case you guys want to get your hands on this and see how the products work. Ipsy is sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to them. I've always wanted to try your bag. The Ipsy Glam Bags have five products in them personalized to you every month, which is super awesome. I always love trying out new makeup products, but I never really know what I want to try, so this makes it perfect. I am going to be linking Ipsy down below and all the information about this, so if you're interested, make sure to check out the description. Did you guys hear that? Anyways, if you guys want to see how I did this look that I'm wearing today, keep on watching. Hey guys, so it's time for me to start my makeup for the day. If you hear a fan, it's because it's pretty hot in here. I know I'm wearing a sweater, but... I had to wear this for the sake of the video. Okay, so like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am going to be using all the products from, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're like flying out, all the products from this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. So I'm gonna go in and start with the first thing, which is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. So it says it's a fragrance-free gentle cleanser that removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. I'm excited, I've tried First Aid Beauty before and I really, really like it. Okay, so here's my washcloth, my face is dampened, and it says to just massage a small portion of the cleanser into all zones of the face, so let's do that. And I'm gonna be kind of looking over here because this is where the mirrors are. It was like so hard for me to find a way to um, get the filming right in this Airbnb, <laughs> but I think this should work. Okay, so now that I've rubbed it in, I'm just gonna kind of remove it, like it said, with a damp washcloth. Honestly, nothing feels better to me than like waking up and just like washing your face and feeling so fresh and nice. Okay, so the next product that I'm going to try in the July bag is the Pure Heels Pore Clear Black Charcoal Peel Off Mask. And I'm really excited about this because I've actually never tried a peel off mask before this one is supposed to remove blackheads and clear pores so let's see oh my gosh it's so dark this is amazing ah! i feel like i'm putting like eyeliner on <laughs> my face okay so this is the current situation it says to leave this on for 20 to 30 minutes and then take it off, so I'm gonna do that. Okay guys, so I'm back with the mask off. My skin does feel really, really good. I like it a lot. Okay, so next I'm using one of my own products. This is just the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. And then I also put it on my eyelids. And then a little bit on the tip of my nose and then i just like to blend this out with a damp beauty blender oh yeah so by the way i got this super cute sweater or they call it jumper here i literally just got it from one of like those street vendors that sells like touristy stuff and i'm like not the type of person that would buy like a touristy sweatshirt but i thought this was so adorable and i pictured myself wearing it with like black ripped skinny jeans and like some sneakers and i just thought it was so cute so yeah and i had to wear it for the video of course Okay, so the next item is also from the Ipsy bag. This is the Mana Kadar Flawless Finish Dual Powder. So I'm going to use this to just powder my face. So apparently this can be used wet or dry. I'm just going to use it dry, but I feel like next time I'll use it, I'll try it wet so that I can kind of like compare it. Just getting my brush in here and putting it all over my face. I really like using powder all over my face. I don't really like foundation but I love always using like a, just a powder. Yeah, so I think I really like this. It's going on super smooth and it's getting the job done. Okay, so now that I've powdered my face, it's time for eyebrows. This is the longest part of my makeup routine. If you guys have watched my Get Ready With Me's before, 
you would know I take forever because I don't really have that much eyebrow so I kind of have to fake it till I make it first thing I'm doing is just taking the NYX micro brow pencil and I always fill in like the front of my eyebrow with this and then I'll take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and fill in the rest of my eyebrows. My stomach keeps growling so much. I haven't eaten yet today. So if you also hear that, that's kind of embarrassing. Ignore it. That's always me in class. Like, I'll be so hungry. And my stomach will growl so loudly. And I feel like everyone can hear it. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to do my eyebrows off camera because I'm really struggling. But if you guys watch any of my other <laughs> Get Ready With Me's, you'll see me do them. Okay, I always want to talk when I do these videos like during it but I'm so bad at doing makeup and talking at the same time so basically <laughs> I'm going to set my eyebrows with this clear gel I already started to do this and then my camera wasn't recording so oops <laughs> but basically something I wanted to ask you guys in this video was if you know anything about this thing that I saw so basically I was walking around um I think it was like the Holland Park area of London. So I was walking around, I took a wrong turn on accident and I was on like a street of houses and I saw this house that looked so beautiful because it had these like magnificent like huge pink and purple flowers just like flooding the entryway and it was like this beautiful white house and I was like oh damn I need to take a picture of that. So I like go over to take a picture and then there's a lady, I think it was a lady, I'm like 80% sure like standing guard like she was on guard like just standing straight like staring ahead like in front of the door so i wanted to ask you guys if any of you know like whose house this is or what it is because i was like oh maybe this is just like temporary so i went back like an hour later and she was still there which was really awkward so that was me like going up to the house trying to take a picture of it like twice and then the lady was still there and i guess i could have asked her but i felt really weird so if you guys know what that house is please let me know because i am so curious okay so now that my eyebrows are done i'm just gonna put some eyeshadow on really really simple i'm just gonna use urban decay sin i have it in this like little palette here and i'm just gonna put that all over my lids just to add like a little something nothing crazy but just like a little bit but yeah so far i really really like london i would love to live here for like a year my thing is like there's so many places that i would like to live for such a short period of time and that's just not really like realistic i feel like i would love to live in london for a year or two and then i'd love to live in new york city for like a summer or like six months and that's just like not really realistic so i don't know i feel like i need to do it sooner than later but it's hard because i like love la and i want to live in california long term but i also want to live in all these little places so it's just like a lot to think about okay so next is time for eyeliner and the ipsy bag <laughs> i'm like holding it up every time i show you something from it so that bag came with two different eyeliners they are the sugar stroke of genius heavy duty coal in purple rain and in green light so this is like a dark purple and this is like a dark green I think I'm gonna use the dark purple today, but the green is also really cool. So I'm gonna use the purple. So this is supposed to last up to eight hours, which is perfect. I only will use long lasting eyeliners. I always use eyeliner on my upper lash line, but yeah, I only use long lasting ones because I like who wants to reapply their eyeliner? Like no one. So I'm gonna put this on my upper lash line. This is gonna be so hard to film, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay guys, I really, really tried to film this but i was like getting up super close to my camera and trying to like do it while looking in the viewfinder because my mirror is like over here and it was so difficult i was about to like mess up because it's like flip flopped so i did it in the mirror without filming i'm sorry it's really really pretty though and it went on so smoothly i love this color it was so creamy just so you guys can see how nice and creamy it is i like barely touched yeah i'm like literally barely touching and it just like glides on so nicely okay so next i'm applying mascara this is just the covergirl last blast lash blast it's almost gone and i was gonna buy a mascara here but i know i have some unopened ones at home so i like couldn't bring myself to do it so i'm just gonna put on a lot of this like always okay so now that i have my mascara on i'm going to put some products on my lips first i'm just using the rosebud salt this is my favorite i use this as like a chapstick my nails are so like ratchet and long now that they're like digging into it so i need to get like the squeeze tube <laughs> and then i'm taking my last product in this month's ipsy bag this is la beaute fatale lipstick in the shade vibrate 
and this is supposed to finish the lips with a smooth and creamy color. I'm not going to put it on 100%. I'm just going to kind of dab it on just to get a little bit of color because I don't like having intense color on my lips, but I feel like a little bit of color is always really nice. So this is what it looks like. It's super fun. And yeah, I'm just going to like dab it on. Guys, okay, so I heard that Kylie Jenner took out her lip fillers because natural lips are in and I think my time has come. <laughs> I have like no upper lip. I get that comment all the time. Like, where'd your lip go? Like, haha, very funny. At least I don't have duck lips. This is such an unflattering angle. Wow. So I think that looks really cute. It's just like a little bit of color, not too much, but it's still really nice. Okay, and then I'm also just going to take that same Urban Decay palette I used earlier for the eyes and I'm just going to take some blush and put that on my cheeks. And then I always finish off my makeup with some setting spray, so I'm just gonna spritz this all over. Alright, time to take my hair down. Boop, boop, boop. It looks crazy. Yay! So here's the finished look. I'm really glad that I finished this when I did because the construction workers started walking right in front of my window and I felt pretty awkward because they can see right in the window with the chair and the trash can and my camera and me talking to myself. Now we can switch to the part where I'm actually already in dressed and I do my legitimate outro. So yeah, so that is how I used all of these products and some of my own to get this look today. Overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm just excited to get out of this Airbnb so I can get away from that noise. <laughs> I love you guys so much and as always, thank you for watching and make sure you're subscribed with my little notifications on so you know when I post my next video. Love you guys. Bye.